boy, what a treat it is to be around you in these days here at, uh, at the Joint Service Open House. And you get a chance to watch the race. We won't do any spoilers. Well, Brian, it is all yours, my friend. Thanks so much, Rob, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Norris, the operations coordinator and narrator for Team Oracle, featuring the man considered by many to be the top solo aerobatic performer in North America today. Making his 20th appearance over the skies of Andrews, coming all the way from Salinas, California, in that very small, bright red, custom-built biplane known as the Oracle Challenger 3. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, none other than Mr. Sean D. Tucker. I invite you to stand by because you are about to witness a demonstration of the most hardcore, down and dirty, hard charging power aerobatics known to man, which come as a result of Sean's more than 22,000 hours of combined fixed wing and rotary wing flight time. This is a one of a kind aircraft that Sean is flying and watch closely now as he performs a forward flip in the Oracle Challenger 3. Straight at the ground, a half roll. Put Sean inverted in that high negative G recovery. Then back to show center, another half roll bringing Sean back to upright to begin the hooey loop. This is an inside, outside loop with a tumble at the top. The first half is inside, or what we call positive G's. The second half is outside, or negative G's. Over six negative G's, trying to throw Sean out of the cockpit at the bottom end of that last maneuver. In the repositioning turn now, Sean is going to set up to show you the maneuver which he calls the double hammerhead. Right about now, the pull to the vertical. Watch for the three-quarter roll and now the shoulder roll. Nose perfectly vertical and once at zero, forward airspeed. Watch for hard, full left rudder as Sean completes not one, but two consecutive hammerhead turnarounds. Another high negative G inverted recovery takes Sean away from the crowd in the Oracle Challenger 3. This aircraft was custom built specifically for Sean by our team over a period of 16 months. It weighs in at barely 1130 pounds, however it is powered by almost 400 horsepower, making it without question the most high performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. Right now, Sean performing the descending inverted flat turn. Continuing the turn back to air show left. Sean will tumble his way out of this maneuver and then convert that altitude back into airspeed. He is about to show you a maneuver which was first seen in 1972 when it was used by Mr. Jeffrey Hiller to win for the United States the World Aerobatic Championship Trophy. This is called the torque roll. Using every bit available horsepower, Sean is going to pull himself 1,800 feet above the ground. Right now, zero forward airspeed. Sean is going to shift into reverse and begin flying this aircraft tail first towards the ground, air speeds in excess of 90 miles an hour. And only once he passes through his critical altitude will he allow that nose to fall through the horizon by falling back on the throttle. The, snow, the nose comes back on as he makes his way back down to air show right. At this time, I would like to suggest that you get on your feet and get your cameras ready. Direct your attention to the grass area behind and to either side of the Blue Angels, and you will notice that there are three sets of poles out there. Suspended between each set of poles is a ribbon, which is only 20 feet above the ground. Right now, five feet above the ground, Sean dives underneath ribbon number one. 
pulling the nose around. Watch for him to tumble it, stop, and then another forward flip. In the recovery, Sean is trying to find ribbon number two and ribbon number three. Once he dives over the second ribbon and then back underneath that third and final ribbon. At 220 miles an hour, the nose comes skyward, and Sean is going to now move from left to right, showing you the world's smallest inside loop. We call this the alley-oop. that the show line is obstruction free and he is going to now make an attempt at slicing all three of those ribbons in one single pass in three separate flight attitudes. Right knife edge, left knife edge, and then inverted. Diving in now from the right, 220 miles an hour, 18 feet above the ground. Sean now rolls into knife edge flight through ribbon number one, immediately to left knife edge through number two, and then inverted to shred that third and final ribbon. A maneuver performed by no one else in the world today. That is Sean D. Tucker and the triple ribbon cut. Only Oracle offers hardware and software engineers to work together. Complete and integrated systems from Oracle simplify enterprise IT while delivering extreme performance. Oracle, hardware and software engineered to work together. Skyward again. Watch as Sean now demonstrates the newest maneuver in the sequence. He is going to stop this aircraft inverted one more time, and now he will start to ease that stick forward along with the throttle, with the goal being to perform a very small outside loop. I would like to recommend that you get your cameras ready because Sean is going to turn the camera. gentlemen, what do you think so far of Shondi Tucker and the Oracle Challenger 3? Sean is now easing that throttle forward and returning to Air Show Center to show you the final maneuver of, his, of this afternoon's sequence. This is called the Harrier Pass. Named in honor of the awesome power and capabilities demonstrated by the United States Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier which you will be seeing fly later this afternoon. What Sean is going to now do is turn inbound and then, while using only 70% of his available horsepower, he is going to stand this aircraft on its tail and bring it to a hover in front of you.
Smithsonian Air and Space Museum as being one of the 25 living legends in aviation. And in 2008, at the birthplace of aviation, Dayton, Ohio, Sean was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame. As Sean now sets up a short final, I'd like to take this final opportunity to thank you on behalf of Team Oracle and invite you to look us up online at teamoracle.com. And also, please, pay a visit to Sean's Facebook fan page. Just keep in mind, he spells the first name S-E-A-N. That is Sean D. Tucker. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Norris. Thanks so much for coming out. And now let's turn things over to your master of ceremonies, my good friend, Mr. Rob Ryder.